Welcome back. Let's see if RimWorld will pop in here. Oh, it's not sized properly. Fix yourself. There we go. Very, very low music right now. I like the music from this game, so I might crank it up in just a bit, depending on uh, how the other sounds go. New title screen. I haven't delved into the DLC at all, so it might be folly for me to uh, play with so many mods, but uh, I did go ahead and get the recommended mods that Atomic was talking about earlier, so uh, let's see if we need to turn those on or not. We do. What does the red mean? Must be loaded before core. Okay, we'll just drag those around in a second. So all these vanilla expanded should give us more items on the tech tree later, so just a bunch of those. I just added the whole category. Australia? No, yeah, that's fine. Wait, wait. Aww. Has to do with the Australia fires. So they added Australian animals. Well then, maybe we'll contribute some money to the fund, even though that's it's been a little while, it's been over for a bit. Well, I don't know if it's over, over, there's still, you know, ramifications, so. It's awesome to see that. What's the yellow mean? This mod was not made for this version. I guess I don't need this core. We have this core, right? There we go. After Vanilla Faction's expanded core. doesn't want to go up anywhere. <laughs> Why not? This is very weird. There we go. <laughs> and then these settlers and livestock. I guess we'll just... That's kind of a shame if settlers isn't. I don't need Christmas, I guess. Pacer. I'm going to uncheck it because it's yellow. I don't trust it. That's a shame. Also, what's... So there's just other factions, I guess, that can show up. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll try it as is. The game will now restart. I had to do a double take just to make sure I was unmuted. Been so quiet. Initializing. I'm gonna have to re-familiarize myself with the controls. It's not too hard. It'll probably come back to me like riding a bike. Taking a little while to load. I guess it's the mods. There we go. All right, new colony. Renegade Lord. This is new. A lord and their subjects attempt to change their ways. Difficult. After years of serving under the unethical and immoral ways of a rough kingdom, you and five of your loyal subjects decide to defect and start anew. However, this decision didn't go unnoticed. A party in, this, in the name of your former kingdom is in pursuit in an attempt to bring you to justice. Note, since you start without any supplies and research slower than usual, this is a difficult scenario. Your faction will be a new kingdom. Start with six people chosen from eight. Start with a steel long, long sword. Some helmets, armor, gladius. So you actually like start with like really low tech medieval stuff. Sure. 
it's difficult, but maybe we'll choose like a medium to easy storyteller just because I don't feel like kicking my own ass tonight. Um, so it says Steam Workshop none, but I know we have those mods on. It's fine. Next. So this guy's new. See from the mods. Maynard Medieval. Likes to tell tales of heroism and hardship, of prosperity and peril. Most factions and all research will be limited to the medieval and pre-medieval eras. Eh, I don't really want to stick with medieval. I want to eventually evolve out of it, so. But no. I usually go with Phoebe. Not even Cassandra, I usually go with Phoebe. But I think I kind of want to like just kind of chill with this playthrough and test out some stuff first. This Even if we don't commit to this one and we do come back to the game, I don't necessarily think I want to stick with Cassandra. And I guess you could change it at any time, so we'll start with Cassandra. And I usually start with medium, but builder, build a colony while still having a taste for danger. Major threats appear, but they're weaker than other modes. Some extremely dangerous events are disabled. Let's just go with Builder for right now. Save and load the game at any time. This is a good choice if you're still learning the game, if it fits your personal playstyle, if you're using mods that may break your game, or if you intend to self-enforce commitment mode. Uh, I'm going to reload at any time. Yeah. Seed. Anyone want to give me a random word? We will start with a random word for the seed. Rainfall normal, temperature normal, population normal. Kind of want to go down a little bit on population. Just one. I don't know. We'll stay normal there. Globe coverage. The planet is always the same diameter, but since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface because it could take a very long time. This is the percentage of the surface that you want generated. We'll take a look at 50%. We are going to start with the seed. Stratature. Generate. If you have untrained animals in your caravan, you can split them into a separate caravan before attacking an enemy to keep them out of the fight. But not the case for trained animals. Core and royalty. With these mods. Can't even scroll down. Hey! Alright. Select a starting site. Remember the... There we go. But I'd like to have a pretty decent place. We live on an island away from everyone, and then we never trade with anyone, which would be unfortunate. We also don't want to start next to, like, terrible raiders or anything either. The Night Crooks. What do we have going on here? Let's see. Factions. Empire of the Moon. Shattered Empire. An enemy of tons of people, apparently. But these might just, like, a lot of these might be just hostile people. Berluia. Compact of Thysidos. They're hostile. Trevor Austin. Rough Outlander Union. The Empire of Nebo. We want to stay away from the Blue House. The Tan Castle. The Red Demonic Castle. Tau Whitler. Savage Kingdom. Jarith Jar Sentinel. His name is Jar Jar Sentinel. Trosma Kin League. Fierce Tribe. People of Naboro. Savage Tribe. Nya? Nyaboro? It's got a, it's got a tilde. Um, the Night Crooks. Jay Martin. Man, these Twitlers appear to be like 
everywhere. Or these guys aren't great. They're neutral. They're neutral. These guys are not. Hostile, hostile. These guys are hostile. This guy's hostile. I was thinking up here might be okay, but we might eventually see some of these people come in. Keep trying to drag. Let's see if we have a better little corner of the world. This is just terrible. Go to the uh, Sierra Atoll. Just be stuck here with the people of Nuboru. One Mindy's Jackpot Desert is just full of terrible people. I almost don't hate the middle of this. Because we're surrounded by so many different people. But. I don't know. I don't think there's a perfect spot on this planet, so we'll just have to pick. Pick some good weather and hope that we can defend ourselves if we get attacked. Again, we're playing on a relatively easy difficulty. Relatively uh, lenient storyteller, so. They are. The green ones are hostile. Camel's Fortress on the Pit. The Fanata Kingdom. There are three of them over here, so I'm wondering if like, we can make allies with them or something. This is a boreal forest. Here we have some large hills. Movement difficulty four, one. Oh, that's where their city is. Black Mountains. We could be the people of the Black Mountains. Could move into one of these squares right here by the, the river. By the road. We get a lot of people coming through if we were on the road. This might be pretty interesting if we pick a map in this area because we would get a lot of travelers and the the white eel caro they're not aggressive down this road compact of Isidas they might come up this way I'm not too worried about them though I kind of like well, I wish this was grassland right here on the road. So what options do we have that are more like grassland? I guess we have the end of the road right here, which is kind of a hilly, hilly area. But we wouldn't get many people passing by necessarily. And over here we have the white eel, Venatum. I really wanted a crossroad. I'm gonna look around one more time, because I think we can find something interesting. This is a part of the game that, that I really like, and then it becomes almost not even a part of the game later. I guess it is now that you can have caravans move across this world, but... This might be interesting. Swampy area, tropical rainforest, tropical swamp. We could move in. Hmm. Do we want people passing by all the time? It's fun when it happens, but. These guys are hostile. These guys are hostile. Oh, they're hostile. Never mind. I was thinking about the, the yellow tents. Let's see. 
The Empire of the Moon sounds really cool. Trading here requires the title of knight or dame. <laughs> We're mixing some stuff. We just want to stay away from red in general. You know, I kind of want to re-roll. We'll mess with that in a minute. Strat here, we're just going to go with Strat. Generate. Not that we couldn't play with that, but... I don't know. Want some uh, nicer neighbors. <laughs> make allies then come help us in a fight factions here shattered empire of the red sovereignty the blue house again the rough outline outlander union the tan castle the red castle so these are actually very similar in the color um, matching their hostility so that will help it does look quite a bit different. There are no safe places in the world. Tundra up here. And the, the evil, or the uh, hostile empires are pervasive. The Great Outlaws are down here. And the Dystan Empire is way down here. What if we were near here? I mean, we have kind of a buffer from some of these guys if we wanted to like live down here in this area. We could interact with with the, the Fallen Empire, the Red Sovereignty. We could interact with the uh, Zogo Union. Gotta watch out for the Grey Outlaws. The Widadera people are here. A lot of people would be passing on this road. Got stuck watching some stock market numbers. Safe to say some have lost some monies. Yeah, I mean, only if the companies go out of business, right? So, I mean... If they hang on to their stock, it could recover. At this point, you might as well, right? I wonder what kind of road this is. This might be interesting to live like near this road. A little close to these guys, though. Let's get down here a little bit. And maybe we live off of this intersection here. Of course, we could pick our own place at the end of a road, but then people will only visit us when they want to. If we live here. They have to come by. Kind of like that. We're going to set up shop at this crossroads here. We're going to want a... Slightly... Well, you know, I kind of want a large map. They actually break the game design. The AI will make stupid decisions and game balance will be badly affected in various ways. These sizes are included for tradition and testing reasons. All right, we'll go large, medium. Starting season, we'll go auto. We're in a temperate forest. Give one or two more days, then it's time to buy again. Always buy when the economy's taking a hit. I mean, I, I kind of took some advantage of that. Right, let's look at the factions one more time. Nobody we're missing out on, really. Isadora von der Kvast. Next. All right. So who's the... Do we actually declare who the king is? Or queen? Do we declare who the royalty is? Childhood crash baby. What is that? 
the only survivor of a deadly spacecraft crash. A passing tribe discovered him in the wreckage and adopted him. We're going to have some uh, stuff to consider here. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, so we'll take a minute to look. Adam Novak here is best with plants. Not incapable of anything. He has a chemical interest. He's a body purist, so he doesn't allow... He doesn't like artificial body parts. He finds it unethical. Okay. New Kingdom. Is that us? I didn't see it on here, did I? No, these are just all the other kingdoms. I was wondering if it would let me name it. Okay, Ali cannot do dumb labor. I don't like that. She's an optimist, but she's sickly. Has an awful immune system. She gets sick more often than usual, frequently with illnesses that nobody in the colony has been afflicted by. So I might reroll you, Ali. Nash is a logger. He is bisexual, jealous, and sickly. <laughs> Jealousy means uh, it's degrading to have a less impressive bedroom than someone else. Oh, she. <laughs> Her name is Maria Nash. Okay. She gets mood. Uh, she gets a mood loss. If any colonist has a more impressive bedroom than her, she has. Uh, she also has planting as one of her tops, and no social, no intellectual. Brett, Brett Bradshaw, psychically sensitive. He's very psychic to psychic, psychic phenomena. He's very sensitive to psychic phenomena. He's very neurotic. Feels constantly nervous about everything that he has to get done. He will work extremely hard to attain this state of affairs, but his nerves can easily get the better of him. Global work speed plus 40, mental break threshold plus 14. He's a teetotaler. He abhors the idea of gaining pleasure from chemicals. He strictly avoids alcohol and recreational drugs. That's fine. Can't cook. He's artistic. Not great. Maybe we should go like one by one though, and like re-roll them until we get somebody good. She's got really good melee and really good shooting. Chantal Picasa. She's got bloodlust. Gets a rush from hurting people and never minds the sight of blood or death. She is four times as likely to start a social fight. Night Owl. Likes to be up during the night and sleep during the day. That's useful when the person is handy at things like mining or building. She can't build at all. Or she can, she just has no skill in it yet. Chris Holmes, fast walker, plus 0.2 move speed. Misogynist, dislikes and distrusts women, teetotaler. All right, we're gonna reroll almost everybody here just because I wanna get some like but uh, like I want I want specialists. I want people who are good at their own one or two things. So randomize a bit. I'm going to randomize until I see three numbers that are ten or above. Ooh, he's really good at shooting. Okay, Keegan here is a slow learner, which is not great because, wow, minus 75% to global learning factor. She can't craft. She can't do medical things at all. She's incapable of caring. <laughs> but she's good at fighting. And she's good with animals. She's okay at construction. She has a passion for mining and art. She's a maybe. She's a maybe. Let's let's move down here. We're going to reroll Allie here. Riesling. 13 in crafting. 9 in plants is close. She's a pretty well-rounded person. Mining and cooking's not great. 
Oh, but she's incapable of so much. She can't care. She can't do art. She can't clean. She feels limited in her feeble human body. She often dreams of being enhanced by artificial body parts. That's fine. As long as it doesn't make her depressed. She's a misandrist. She distrusts men. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have a, a party of six people. Mm -hmm. I'm not really paying much attention to the health. I mean, we'll, we'll work with whatever health we get. She was an involuntary hermit. Um, no, I guess we'll re-roll her, even though this is really good. Again, my initial rolls are just going to be looking at the numbers. Plants 13, can't care, can't construct. Or mod. Oh, life revolves around food. He is beautiful. He is exceptionally beautiful, Stanislav Kramer. <laughs> I'm not I'm not picking the misandrists or the slow learners. I might pick the slow learner, depends. We'll see. We're, I'm going to come back to her. We might re-roll her, depending. But I'll, I'm going to stick to my guns on only stopping if they have three stats that are 10 or higher. It's really cool when you see one that they're passionate about that they're already high in. He's got two 10s, but a bunch of zeros. Some of these are so low. Okay, here we go. Samantha Haxton. She cannot care. She can't fight fire. She can't work with plants, but she can shoot, cook, and 15 with animals. That's like insanely good with shooting and animals. That's kind of what we had with her shooting melee and animals. Torso's frail. Moving is minus 30%. Mm. She's 86. Right, we're going to go a little bit further with this one. 17 cooking. We have a chef. We have Jason Butcher. His last name's even Butcher. He's got a bad back. He can't be violent. He can't hunt or fish, which isn't great for a, a butcher. <laughs> I guess, but uh, he's great at cooking and he's got a passion for it, so he can get even better. <laughs> he is staggeringly ugly. Slow learner and he's bisexual. Uh, that doesn't actually give you a bonus. Actually, that, that in itself is a bonus because he can have relationships with anybody. Um, so that might just make him happier. So that's cool. Slow learner. I mean, if I'm going to make him the cook and he's just already got a 17, Maybe I keep Butcher. And <laughs> I'm just gonna name him The. No, we would only see The. We wouldn't see Butcher. He could be Butcher Butcher. He is staggeringly ugly. Beauty is minus two. His face looks like a cross between a drawing by an untalented child, a malformed fetus in a jar of formaldehyde, and a piece of modern art. Others must exert conscious effort to look at him while conversing. That is rough. I hope they're not too mean to him. As an adult, he was a stew keeper. He prepared meals from the plants and animals brought in by the gatherers, farmers, and hunters of his tribe. He had to make sure it was calorie efficient, long lasting, and healthy. He often processed and sometimes gathered plants himself, cooking in plants plus. Okay, so I'm gonna keep him because he's interesting and he doesn't have a terrible downside. Like he's staggeringly ugly. That's bad for him. That's not bad for me. All right, we're re-rolling re 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 Nash. Let's get somebody who's good at construction this time, maybe good fighter but again I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot for three tens we're getting some well-rounded people on occasion psychite addiction 16 shooting can't do jack anything else so low and everything else All these peg leg people too. I mean, well rounded's not terrible. I don't think we want the girl from the, the ring though. Some of these are very funny looking. So I mean we're running across a lot of interesting people, but 
it is really hard to get three tens. So if we had like two tens and they seem well rounded enough. Not a good fighter. Very artistic. Good at construction. Decent at mining. 89 years old with dementia and hearing loss. Next. Twelve and twelve. Shooting at animals. We already have shooting at animals covered. Eleven and ten. Always good shots. I think I saw like an insanely high number back there, but I didn't stop. Crafting 14, melee 12. Mining zero, construction five, but crafting 14's neat. Alcohol addiction. We're not gonna start with any alcohol, so you're just gonna be depressed from the very beginning if that's the case. I don't really want a misogynist or a misandrist. Because they have to get a, they have to get along on a team. Come on, fate. Give me a well-rounded person. Oh, this is... Okay. Let's take a look at another Eli here. Eli Schaffhausen. Incapable of dumb labor, so they can't haul or clean. That's not great. But they have construction and mining, and they're an intellectual and social. I like that. This... Oh. He is 59. He's got interesting hair. He was a cave child, and as an adult, he's a malingerer. Often feigned sickness in order to avoid his responsibilities. While resting in the sick hut, he told stories to the children. Oh yeah, thanks for the host. Social plus five, intellectual plus two, hauling disabled, cleaning disabled. Traits undergrounder. Has no need to experience the outdoors or light. He will never feel cooped up or get cabin fever. That's great because he's great at mining. <laughs> no matter how long he stays inside and is not bothered by darkness. He's a slow learner. Ah, two slow learners. Oh, and he's a misandrist. How'd I miss that? Damn it. Woo! Congratulations. Let's see if I have something here. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, I hate the... He, he just distrust them, though. Like, maybe he could still work with them. Uh, we'll, we'll, come, we'll leave him. He's interesting. I don't want that to be a factor for us. We'll see if we can build a good team. We'll see. 12 and 13. 11, 11, 11, okay. Jeremiah Yost, male. Bookworm, brave. Also incapable of dumb labor. Good at melee, good with animals. He's an intellectual. Psychically sensitive. A wimp. Is weak and cowardly. Even a little pain will immobilize him. Well, with a melee of 11, that's not great. He's kind. He has a special way of using kind words to brighten someone's day. He never insults others and never judges people by their appearance. That's great. Oh, excuse me. That's great. He can learn to do these things. He's just not going to start out good at them. He's got a passion for cooking. Even though it's kind of low, he's got a passion for animals. Okay. He's a maybe... Not super impressed. 1099. Incapable of a ton of stuff. As a child, he was an accursed child. Born at the peak of a lunar eclipse, the elders declared him a child of darkness and brought him under their care. His entire childhood was spent studying the lore and rituals of his people until the day of calling. Then in adulthood, he was a shaman of shadows. When the monsters of fire came from the sky, Dark Light, which is his name is Umbra Dark Light Nighthawk. <laughs> Dark Light made use of medicines and rituals 
Wait, wait, I didn't read everything. When the monsters of fire came from the sky, Darklight was called upon by his tribe to guide them into battle. Darklight made use of medicines and rituals to inspire and lead the warriors of many tribes against the invaders. The pirates were forced to retreat without capturing a single slave. Hunting and fishing disabled. He can't be violent. That's fine. Can't haul things. He can't fight fires. He can't mine. He can't clean. He's also staggeringly ugly. But he's a good doctor. He's very social. Oh, but he's staggeringly ugly. I wonder if that would be a problem if like we send him to like do like diplomatic efforts or something like that, and then like they're like, oh is an intellectual. There's always something really terrible about somebody. I mean, all this is not great. He's super interesting, though. I mean, the man's name is Darklight. All right, all right, let's see. Time for you to rotate. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. We'll check back in on the longing on Sunday. Have a good evening. Well, for you, it's morning. Have a good morning. I don't think we passed one with three tens. Can appreciate how the title still says the longing. Does it? Ah, I even thought about changing that. Thank you for uh, reminding me. I thought about that when I was on break and then I came back and did not. It is fixed. Passing people with some interesting stats, but I set a pretty high threshold for myself. We need, well, we're looking at animals, cooking, plants. We could use some better crafting. I guess we can look down here and see. We can use some better construction. And I believe crafting could be better. Somebody good at construction. I could also take someone who's just well-rounded with a passion in something that I need. Used to be so I you couldn't eat pepper, but now you eat chili chips. I mean, you kind of build on it. I haven't had super spicy stuff in a while, so it affects me a little bit faster. Ten and two plants and animals. Intellectual melee, no. Mining plants. Melee plants and medical. this game have stats for spicy thresholds? Maybe. I mean, there's people who love food. I'm not really seeing a huge number of people that are getting good numbers in construction. There's one, but then everything else is pretty low. Can't firefight. He's a pyromaniac and he can't firefight? No thanks. Okay, this is a pretty well-rounded looking person here. Incapable of handling animals, that's fine, it's pretty low. He's an undergrounder, he's neurotic. His work speed's faster, his mental break is slow, that's kind of like the other guy, I believe. Fernand. He's a hunter. Okay. So right now we've got five men and one woman. We do want to maybe as much as I like dark light it's not perfect here. We need a we need a good doctor though, an intellectual doctor, so let's He's a misandrist. Great memory, bloodlust wimp. That's not a good oh it's another Umbra Dark Light. Only this time they're pretty. They can't do anything. Quick, see quick sleeper, fast walker. 
I like the idea of having an Umbra Darklight Nighthawk. <laughs> you know what? I, I will. I'll name somebody after you before we start. We'll call them Little. Or we could do Little Odd. Okay, let's see. Do we? Did we like Jeremiah? Jeremiah's kind of cool. He's a wimp. Like, we shouldn't send him into fights, even though he can fight. If he gets hit, it's not good for him. We're still kind of low-ish on construction. Construction 8. 7. Fernandez male. I, I need to replace another one of these men with a, another woman, at least. Eli was the misandrist, and I kind of want to find another. He was good at m mining and social. So let's find another. Let's hopefully find a female settler that is good at mining. It was really good that he's an undergrounder, but... Michelle. Not capable of being social. Undergrounder. Decent at mining. Fast walker. She can learn. Pretty low in some other stuff, though. She doesn't have a passion for anything. Uh, uh, no, we'll go with someone else. Need mining. I could have gone with that one that had a passion for it, but... Mining 10. Incapable of none. Undergrounder. They're abrasive. Always says exactly what's on her mind, especially if it's bugging her. That tends to rub people the wrong way. She's nimble. Has a remarkable kinesthetic intelligence. Seems to dance around danger with... Peter Natural Grace. She's got an artery blockage in her heart, so I hope she doesn't have a heart attack right away. She was a cave child. She could do some medicine. Was there anything else particularly wrong with any of these others? They're all very interesting in their own ways. Renand, Darklight, Jeremiah, Ryla, Jason the Butcher. I'm just going to name him Butcher. He's Butcher the Cook. You know what? His name is Cook Butcher. <laughs> Which one do you uh, want to be, Little Odd? I'll rename somebody after you. Except for Cook Butcher. Jason Cook Butcher, they'll call him Cook. <laughs> Cookbook. Um, I can rename Fernand. Fernand's pretty well rounded. Do you want to be Fernand? Yeah. Fernand. A little odd. All right, let's start with this team. We're not super low on anything. Construction's a little low, but I have faith that uh, a couple of people could get better at it. So we just have to build that up over time, and we will, because we have to construct things. And now we finally start. I do kind of wish that Streamlabs would alert you if it detects that you're capturing a different game, because it knows the name of the window you're capturing. So it just seems like you'd be like one step away from getting like a quick alert that's like, hey, you didn't change your game title. Nice. Respect. Camel case. After years of serving under the unethical and immoral ways of a rough kingdom, you and five of your loyal subjects decided to defect and start anew. However, this decision didn't go unnoticed. A party in the name of your former kingdom is in pursuit in an attempt to bring you to justice. I'm not sure which one that is, but okay. So we just start right here. Doesn't have like the crash site. Not like you normally have. 
I do probably want to install the mod that lets you zoom in just a little bit further. And we have clothes that they can switch into. We have some tabards. We do have some wine, some steel plate armor. I'm not going to necessarily tell people to wear specific things, though I might go in and change that up. This is different. The menu down here is different. Western music. Okay, let's see. We have all their priorities. I do tend to go manual priority after a while. Manage outfits. Okay, so we do need to decide like who's a soldier and who's not. A daily emoji pass applause followed by a loud horse. We'll mess with uh, a lot of this stuff later. Everyone gets the best medicine. But I do need to know. Let's look at your. Who was our fighter? So, Highland's one of them. Maybe on Jeremiah, though, he's a wimp. Little odd. Yeah, Highland, Jeremiah, and Little Odd can wear the soldier outfits. Other than that, people can wear whatever they want to. Hopefully they'll put on some armor because they'll be the ones fighting most, um, most often if people come through. So here are our roads. And goes up to the north here. This one diverges. So the best place for our base might be up in here in this corner. Maybe. Interesting, there's like some evils over here and stuff. Call around, just kind of get an idea. There aren't a ton of mountains to mine here. Might not be great. We might have to trade for some stuff. Which is how the game goes. Because we've got some up here, some ruins up here. Large stell. Interesting. Build a copy. <laughs> Don't know if you can with that. Do you have Mega Sloth here? All right, so I think that our best bet for an encampment is going to be up here to the right. We also have some geothermal power as an option up here once we do get to that. Take a look at anything else that we might have here. Our tech tree, we're starting with the basic stuff. There is some stuff injected into here from the mods. Gotcha. Royal favors, that's new. The world at large, history. Okay. Let's unpause for a second. Well, let's actually allow the different outfits. Let's see, F. So they'll change, they'll arm themselves if they feel the need to. Your emoji spam didn't work. I don't know if that's the filter or not. And I am actually going to need just a moment to take a quick break. I know we just got started, but I'm going to pause time for just a moment. And I do apologize, but I will be right back. It's a moment. Just a, a few minutes. <laughs> 